the Truth or Girls. Hi everyone, it's Truth or Girl Sonia here. So I wanted to do a little follow-up on my dental experience in Mexico and address the question of was it worth it or not. And uh, just to give you a little background, I, I ended up with like 17 fillings and a root canal when I was about 22, something like that. And it was a long time ago. The white fillings need to keep getting replaced. And every time that happens, it gets closer to the root. Eventually, replacing them all the time, I'm gonna uh, lose my teeth. You know, they're gonna be damaged and they're gonna, they're gonna die. So the only solution was to get uh, inlays. And porcelain inlays here are about $1,500 per tooth. And I have, well, I don't know, maybe, maybe close to 10 teeth that would need, yeah, inlays or some of them even crowns. So um, what happened was in August, my friend Karen, who lives in Mexico, said, hey, why don't you come down and, and visit me? And since my son was at camp, and since I know that there's a dentist that she had seen, and I wanted to go and see to have some work done, uh, since that was the case, I decided to go. <clears throat> now, at the time, I did not want a vacation, and I really didn't have the money to spend on this, uh, and I didn't, I didn't feel any need to travel. I mean, it's nice to see Karen, but I wasn't like, yeah, I really need to get out of here and go to the beach or anything like that. I, I just did it because it, it struck me as an opportunity to get some dental work done uh, at a better price. So I went down there and I had inlays put in three teeth. I did a bunch of videos on it and I'm going to tell you what happened. One of the things that came up was I started getting vertigo after the first like long time in the dental chair when I had the mercury fillings removed. I, I became like unwell and I, I had vertigo. I went even to the clinic and they said, you have vertigo. So I had like true vertigo. I was afraid I had mercury poisoning. However, long story short, it turns out I didn't have mercury poisoning. It didn't have anything to do with that. It was uh, that lying in the chair for so long did something to the part of your, my ear that um, lets, lets me have my equilibrium. It, it, it screwed up my ear. And, and that's how I got the vertigo. But just to let you know, it wasn't the mercury. It was vertigo from something with my ear from lying in the chair for so long. Now, let me tell you, that vacation was really no vacation. I had two travel days plus like six days when I was there. And out of those six days, I spent four days in the dental chair. And it was really hard. It really took a toll on me. Just the experience. It was very stressful because it's a lot of dental work in a short time. Plus the vertigo. It was really hard on me. And when I came back, I, I did a lot of editing my travel videos and I didn't do a lot of new ones. And some of that had to do with the fact that I was like screwed up for like a month after the trip. Uh, while I was there, I also got like a needle, needling facial and uh, an, a, like an ultrasound treatment on my stomach because the price was much lower and I, I wanted to see if it would like firm my skin. The reason I'm mentioning is it's just to say that in, on top of the dental stuff, I was also at this other clinic and um, the whole thing, it just took a, a lot out of me. Like I don't have stamina for that much and they, it, it screwed me up. But I, I don't think that's, <clears throat> I don't think it's any kind of reflection on the dentist. It's, that's me, you know? So how did it turn out for my teeth? Uh, well, maybe I should tell you how it turned out for my wallet. Let's just say that I did not really have the money to do this and I did it on credit card and I, like I racked up a bunch of debt, which I have to pay off now, uh, which is what I'm working on. So the question is really, was it worth it? Because I went, I went way out of my way and way out of my way financially to do it. I was like investing in this. So was it worth it? Well, he did a good job at the freezing. His bedside manner was good. Everything he did was okay. But these were very, very deep fillings that he removed and there was a chance that I could lose my teeth from developing pulpitis, irreversible pulpitis. So this is what I was hoping would not happen. Or it could be that he would do a bad job or I'd have some problem with the filling. So here's how it went. I did have pulpitis after, but it was, I guess, reversible pulpitis. My teeth were sensitive, but it's gotten better. Um, so lucky for me, uh, because as you actually, as if you're, when you're younger, there's a better chance your teeth will recover as you get older, you're more susceptible 
to stuff like your teeth not recovering from dental treatments. Lucky for me, it seems like that has recovered. There's still a bit of sensitivity, and this was the only problem with my treatment in Mexico was that the fillings were too high. And he did file them down quite a bit, but they were still too high. And I did tell him, I said, they're still too high. I can feel it. But he didn't believe me. I think he thought that I, I don't know, I was being hypersensitive or it's just because I just had something done or whatever. But I knew they were too high. I've had this before and it hurts when you bite down. And uh, they're too high, but it's not really, really bad. It's not like they're all jacked up. Like someone else who went to Mexico said they're all jacked up. They're not jacked up, but they're a little high. So I, I can chew on the side, but sort of gingerly. This is really the only problem I've had to date. They're still too high. I'm going to have to, at some point, get someone to file them down a bit more. The, you know, the problem is if you go somewhere like that, you get a whole bunch of dental work done in one shot. And if your bite's not perfect, well, you can't exactly go back because you now you've left the country. It's very intense having that much work done. And yeah, you can't really go back for follow-up. But I'd say that that is something that it's it's manageable. And the inlays that he did, as far as I can tell, they're good. Uh, I haven't had a problem. Uh, so as far as I can tell at this point, in spite of all the difficulty that I had and the financial burden, the financial burden was less. Even with the trip, it was still less than it would have been Actually, if I take the trip plus the, the like aesthetic stuff I did plus the dental work, even then it wouldn't come out to what I would have paid for just the dental work. I could have never afforded it. I couldn't really afford what I did down there either, but I did it. Whatever. No regrets. I just have to pay it off now. Was it worth it? I would say it was. And as far as I can tell, he did a good job. But my advice, if you were to go down, would be do not get a lot of teeth done in one shot. And don't get more than one area done. The dentist himself told me this because then your bites, it's going to be like really hard to fix your bite. And so I, that's why I only had one area done. Do not go and like get your whole mouth done because you're liable to have problems. That's probably the biggest, best piece of advice anyone could have who's going to Mexico for dental work is don't overdo it. And other than that, I'd say, you know what? It was worth it. If these teeth survive, which it seems like they are, then they may be fixed for like the next 20, 30 years. So to save me the trouble of having root canals or crowns or implants down the road or dentures, definitely I'd say it was worth it. He was a good dentist. His name was... Um, My name is George Ivan Hosenorovich Karamazov. Anyway, I'll put the name down at the bottom and the link if you want to go, but he's going to retire soon. But my other advice would be go to see dentists who service, who serve, service doesn't sound good. Then go to see dentists who serve Mexicans, especially dentists who don't speak English because they charge less. And they're not these like tourist dentists who are going to be like, hey, come on in, we're going to do everything. You look like a movie star. And then you like get too much work done. You have all kinds of problems. Go to just the regular dentist. If you can speak Spanish, uh, that makes it a lot easier. Otherwise, you have to use Google Translate. But I'd say that that's better and go to one that someone that you know has seen who can be recommended. And um, I've heard horror stories about people getting dental work done in Mexico. And I would say I had some issues, but it wasn't a horror story. And in the end, it was worth it. And no regrets. And that's it. And I hope that you seeing my experience was helpful to you. And that uh, if you have teeth problems, you can get them taken care of in Mexico for um, a, a good price. Anyway, that's it. Just want to share that with you. All the best to you. And thanks for listening to me. And I'll see you next time. Mexico.